Hello everyone. We started these hydroponic containers on 426. This particular one here was started on 56. Today is 525. So these bottom ones have been going a month. This upper one has been going 19 days. That's less than three weeks. Now let's take a look at what we have here. Look at the amount of lettuce coming out of here. Look at the, it's up into the light. I've got to pick it because there's no room for it to continue to grow. This is 19 day lettuce from those little plants that I showed you that I put in. So we're going to clip this guy and pull him out. And here's our lettuce. What happens is it gets a little burned on the top up in the light so we've got to trim that little section out. But how's that for some lettuce in 19 days from little tiny plants? Uh, so we'll put that one in. And I actually had quite a few more leaves here I could have picked to harvest this one. And as usual, my problem is, is that I don't, I'm not starting new plants fast enough to take up the space. Now, these other ones that have been down here a month, I'm going to start harvesting them also because they're starting to get some burn from the lights. They've been there four weeks. These guys up here have only been up here 19 days. And we're looking at, let me clip just a couple here to show you so you can see them. This is, zoom out, this is some of the prettiest lettuce. This is butter crunch. I find the butter crunch gives you a wider lettuce under the lights. It doesn't grow quite as tall, so it doesn't burn as bad. So the way my setup is, because I only have like five inches to the lights, uh, it's got to be a low-growing lettuce. But you can't beat this stuff. So just with a couple of clips here. We have got enough lettuce easily for two big salads, which we're going to have tonight. Uh, I just can't tell you how well this hydroponic stuff is working. Uh, as long as we're here and we haven't used much time, I can show you some of the other things that are growing here under the lights. I have right here an assortment also growing up into the lights of. Uh, I got some candy onions sets back in the back, and then a sunburst patty pan, a Reno acorn squash, and a zucchini squash in the back there. These are for replacements for any that I've put out already that may not have made it. We've had so much rain, things are having a hard time. This is the lemongrass I started. It was here. Now you can see it's grown all the way till it's up out of the lights. I tried taking some nice fresh spring cuttings of some elderberry branches, and guess what? They're they're off to the races. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with more elderberry trees, but they're in full bloom and they're beautiful. Stop. We like some coleus, so I've started some coleus, and you can see back there in the back some more dill plants coming. And this says it's German chamomile. I hope it is. Don't remember what German chamomile looks like. But I hope that. I thought they had frizzy leaves, but we'll see. Uh, that's what I thought it was. There's So we've got the coleus, the chamomile, some dill. We've got some fresh, nice, fresh elderberry stems growing. We've got lemongrass. We've got squashes ready to go out in the garden, and then we have 18 lettuce plants growing indoors. Now, as I harvest these, I'm going to put new plants in the ground into these pots to keep them going. Ah, I found it. Here, <laughs> this is funny. This is my, like my uh, sample subject here. This one was, I had two plants left over for here, and this is how much they've grown in a pot under the exact same lights actually between two plants and then there's the other plant so to say the hydroponic method 
gives you a much much faster growth that's a, I can probably take this one out these out and put them into the pots that I've harvested and they'll catch up in a couple of weeks so this is my hydroponics continuing onward I'm gonna try and keep it going all summer unless I need the space to start things for outside if it ever stops raining we'll go outside and give you an update the growth has been phenomenal because we've had about 10 days of rain every single day making working in the garden hard but you just go out in little snatches so there's the indoor update and the hydroponics after 19 days and four weeks thank you for watching